गुड मर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैं नोम पलाश विश्वास एसिसटैंट प्रफेसर जे एस कलेज अफ इंजिनियरिंग द प्रिभिया क्लसेस आई डिसकस द पैकेजिंग अफ मेटेरियल हैंडलिंग एंड द टूडे इज द लेक्चर नम्बर एट एंड द अल्सो डिसकस इज द क्लसिफिकेशन अफ मेटेरियल हैंडलिंग इक्ुपमेंट अनदार थिंग इज द द मेटेरियल हैंडलिंग इक्ुपमेंट अल्सो यू हैव टू डिसकस टू दिस द आउटलैन फर दिस द मेटेरियल हैंडलिंग इक्ुपमेंट and the materials handling equipments and the classification of materials handling equipments and the sub classification of the handling equipments and the materials handling equipments the materials handling equipment basically the manufacturing process involving and all types of the designs and machines and plants in operations are innumerable consequently the variety of materials handling equipments and systems used in industry is also very large in number and diverse in concept and design the new equipments are being designed and manufactured continuously and the classification of materials handling equipments the materials handling equipments the the many mass more materials handling equipment are available in our the um, in our the manufacture make material handling units and the sometimes we have to require to so this is the classification of material handling equipment and the classification based on the following basic types of the equipment with the following followed which is in line with the that followed by many practitioners and authorities and the uh, <coughs> industrial vehicles trucks and the first you can concentrate to so this is the industrial vehicles and trucks and uh, suppose in order the every industry few vehicles and the trucks also will be available to this the transfer materials inside of this the industry as like as the from this the outside of the industry that like the few product or the few materials will be required to the, um, the transfer from this the your industry to this the another places and the, that like you have to record to this the transfer of materials and the, you have to use to this the industrial vehicles and that these industrial vehicles and trucks will be the first things will be concentrated to the materials classification of the materials handling equipment the second thing is that the conveyors the conveyors also the another equipment the which will be the used to transfer from this the one place to this the another place and that this will be the conveyor belt also will be the concentrate not will be the only conveyor belt this is the conveyors will be considered the conveyor belt the hydraulic conveyor the hull conveyor tube conveyor the all things also will be concentrated to this the conveyor according to this your the materials handling equipment also the hoisting equipment hoisting equipment is the much more essential that this will be the classification hoisting equipments bulk handling equipment systems the robotic handling systems and container and support systems also will be there and the auxiliary equipment and the auxiliary equipment also will be required to transfer materials from the one place to this the another place in the above classification the transfer transportions equipment and the group has been excluded however it is it is to be noted that some of the road and railroad transportation equipments also will be the included may offered to be used as a common materials handling equipment inside a large industry or construction site and the, this will be required and the, during to this the construction site also will be you can see the a wagon uh, is used to this the different uh, the long distance that like the one state to this the another state you have to transfer your materials that like the your the on construction units and the, then you have to consider concentrate to this the wagon and the, also you have to transfer this the materials from this the own place to the another place and the first thing is that the industrial vehicles or trucks and the this is the there are manual or power driven vehicles suitable for the movement of mix or utilize the load intermittently where the primary function is transporting the vehicles trucks is flow physically moved along with that load from one point to the another via a flat or slightly inclined route these classifications 
excludes highway vehicles, railroad cars, marine carriers, and the aircraft also will be the used according to the, the industrial vehicles or the industrial trucks. And the, you can see the when we have to transfer these materials, the two wheel hand um, vehicles also will be there. And the industrial vehicles that that's like the um, the low, uh, lorry that this will be transferred and also the trucks and the inside of this the industry sometimes you can see to this the few product will be transferred this the one unit to the another unit sometimes you can see to this the raw materials will be transferred and the sometimes you can see the after completion of this the product will be uh, transferred to this the one place to the another place suppose this is a one unit to this the another unit also the this will be the uh, transportings and the sometimes we have to see into this the highway and the in uh, highway worker highway working also the always you have to record to this the long or this the bulk type of product and the, this bulk type of product um, also or the bulk type of uh, um, uh, materials also will be required to transfer during to this the um, uh, const road construction uh, as like as the different type of the um, house construction and also the construction site also will be required to this the flat or slightly inclined routes can be used the uh, highway vehicles, railroad, cars and um, railroads also will be given to this the uh, in our uh, um, the power plant industry you can see the one railroad also will be the available because the when you have to transfer this is the coal and uh, during to this system the one um, the small organ also in in this the, um, the industry and uh, uh, this uh, industry also will be used to this the uh, railroad uh, also will be there and the uh, railroad carts and also the, um, the, um, the, the another things marine uh, carriers uh, uh, may be used to and uh, also aircraft may be used and the conveyors the, these are the gravity or power equipment commonly used for moving bulk or unit loads continuously or the intermittently unidirectional from one point to the another point fixed path also will be uh, there and the basically the conveyor will be transferred this materials this will be the according to this the fixed path uh, fixed path uh, where the primary function is conveying the of the materials by the help of movement of some parts components of the equipment the equipment as a whole does not move and the basically the conveyor conveyor belt will be used to this the long or the bulk type of materials will be transferred from this the one place to the another place and the, this will be uh, we uh, can see in order the power plant industry power plant industry is the different uh, coal will be handled and the coal will be handled will be the one place to this the another place and sometimes the coal is go to this the crusher house and the how, how this coal will be transferred to this the crusher house and the, this coal is come from this the different organ and the, this is the railroad will be given to this or the power plant industry and also the a organ tippler is the available and the during to this the organ tippler this organ also will be the um, tip and the, this will be the uploading and um, the, uploading this materials on the one side to this the tipler and by the using to this the gearbox and the during to this the gearbox this organ will be the trip and then this uh, uh, conveyor system will be the uh, run and the during to this the running the conveyor systems the this sand or the this coal also will be the transfer through this the, um, the during to this the uh, conveyor will be running and the, this uh, coal will go to this the uh, so many distance and according to your the long distance and according to your the required bunker this coal will be transferred properly there is the no manual labor will be required when you have to transfer this is during to this the conveyor belts and the another another things also you can see according to this the mass production units and the during to this the mass production this like a, a belt uh, will be given and the, this is the also will be the conveyor belt and the, this conveyor belt just like the glass factor and the um, glass industry and the glass industry we can see the different um, the bottle of uh, glass will be produced that like the um, uh, oil bottle and the, the similar types of bottle that like, uh, will be produced that like the uh, 50000 bottle will be produced in the at a time and also the 50000 uh, water glass water glass will be produced the at a time and the, this will be putting uh, to this the on systems and uh, also this is the come out this product and uh, this product will be the very hot region and this product cannot be uh, kept by this the uh, hand man uh, manually 
then this product will be continuous go through this the conveyor belt and uh, this conveyor belt this product will be go to this the uh, few distance and uh, during to this the um, uh, running running procedures the product will be the uh, cool and uh, during to this the um, up to this the room temperature and uh, after that the you have to go into this the room temperature and also final product will be come to this the uh, another end and uh, this way we have to the transfer to this the um, uh, conveyor belt and another things also we can see the few times the few places the portable conveyor belt also will be the available and the, this is the used to this the uh, loading and unloading parts uh, purpose unloading purpose on this the um, uh, suppose um, you have the uh, small um, uh, you have to uh, the portable conveyor belt will be uh, used and the, this portable uh, conveyor belt the uh, basically loading and unloading purpose is the used and the sometimes the another things you can see the during in the different type of fair and uh, this is the another the chain conveyor also will be the available and uh, during to this the uh, this con uh, this conveyor systems the so many person will be sitting on this the fair and also this will be the jerking will be calm and also the different type of park we can see this the uh, the conveyor belt also will be available and uh, this belt will be the mounted to this the lower part and another the toy type of um, uh, things will be uh, movement and uh, your the human beings can be the uh, enjoy on this during to this the conveyor process and uh, then this is the human being will be concentrated to this the um, um, materials and another things you can see uh, during to this the uh, car can, car conveyor also will be the available and the tube conveyor the all things you have to concentrate to this the uh, conveyor and the during to this the tube conveyor the tube con tube conveyor the different type of the dust type of particles also will be the movement to this the um, this type of conveyor and the uh, pneumatic conveyor also will be the available and the during to this the pneumatic conveyor the dust type of particles and also the uh, small particles can be movement um, uh, and also you have to the transfer this the small uh, particles from this the um, the B, large quantity and the one place to this the another place then you have to uh, transfer uh, using to this the pneumatic conveyor and the during to this the pneumatic conveyor and the, this is the advantage of some pneumatic conveyor will be there the, the pneumatic conveyor there is the no extra cleaning procedures also will be done and the only the uh, because of the pneumatic conveyor this uh, uh, materials will be conveyed during to this the uh, pneumatic just like the uh, air will be used and this during uh, the air will be clean um, on this the conveyor system for this there is the no extra cleaning procedures will be required during to this the pneumatic conveyor system for this the um, the tube conveyor you have, we can be um, uh, transfer this the um, materials uh, one place to this the another place during to this the uh, tube conveyor procedures and uh, another things will be comes to this the hoisting equipment the these equipments are generally utilized to lift and lower and move units and varying loads intermittently between the point within an area known as the reach of the equipment where the primary function is transferring. Hoisting equipments may also be mounted on a power vehicles when the movement of the lifted, lifted load is not limited within a fixed area of operations. And the basically the hoisting equipment we have, we have to see in the suppose the different the villagers the, the different village the different type of and the um, uh, different type of uh, materials that like the the books bandages and the all things you have to the hanging what is the uh, hooks and uh, this will be the lifting and uh, another thing you know the larger scale industry when the we can see the different type of crane is available when uh, or the construction sites the long uh, large weighted weighted materials you have to the pulling to this the um, uh, 22 floors uh, uh, number of floors and uh, then you have to record to this the crane and the during to this the crane the own hoisting um, uh, element will be mounted to this the upper end and uh, that like a, a hooks will be the, the mounted and uh, uh, you can uh, recently see the in you know, order the after the um, uh, arm fan and uh, then the in you know, order the Kolkata, Kolkata city the different type of uh, um, wood wooden uh, tree the tree will be the block in you know, order the roadside and uh, during this uh, tree will be fast break uh, during to the different type of uh, soil and also 
this wooden tree uh, the wood will be the movement uh, from this the uh, one place to the another place during to the different type of the hoisting equipment will be used to this the uh, lifting to this uh, this type of uh, uh, wood and also the uh, the this will be mo movement from one place to the another place and the for this the um, this is the very very important thing for this the, um, the lifting and this uh, type of equipments and the lower and move in the unit and the varying loads intermittently between the point within the area known as the reese of this the equipment but the primary function of this transferring and the sometimes this will be only the hoist and uh, in our uh, different uh, industry also you can see the different type of uh, elements also will be the hoist and uh, these uh, elements also will be required to these the different times and uh, for uh, this uh, is a uh, not uh, uh, placed uh, to this uh, pop, uh, the another things then this will be required to this the hoist and also this will be light weighted light weight materials uh, will be hoist is a uh, very easily and uh, um, within the fixed area operations also will be required during to this the hoist will be used and uh, another things also will be considered according to this the robotic handling system and the robotic handling system is the very much essential and the or uh, suppose the your the low uh, heavy weighted materials that is the bulk type of materials will be uh, transferred from the one place to the another place then our human effort cannot be uh, given to this the properly the transfer this is the materials from this the one place to the another place and the, your robotic handling system you have to given then the this robotic handling system the robots can be very easily transfer this materials and the, sometimes another things also will be given the repeated works will be done and the repeated works will be done that means that you have to breaking some things that like the different type of pressure will be required and uh, but uh, this uh, the one um, we have to putting this uh, crusher and this will be crushed and uh, this is the not uh, will be uh, very uh, patience uh, patience will be comes on this the uh, worker then the this type of job the robot will be very easily handled and uh, sometimes we have to loading unloading procedures will be uh, very much easily uh, done by this the robotic handling systems and uh, uh, sometimes we can see the hazardous environment now uh, suppose the the high temperature region the uh, human beings cannot be standing at this the uh, high temperature region and uh, then you have to set uh, put on this uh, robot and uh, these robots will be very easily uh, done this job and uh, there is the no allegation will be uh, comes and uh, in your uh, labor or worker uh, given some allegation allegation the, the this type of job not will be uh, done by me and uh, this is because of the this is the very hazardous environment and also the this job will be um, harmful for uh, human beings and uh, then you have to uh, given that this type of job will be done by this the or uh, robotic handling is the very easily and the uh, robotic robot will be handle the the bulky type of materials and the hazardous environmental materials and the uh, um, hot uh, uh, environment and uh, there is the no human being will be done this job and uh, sometimes we have to there is the uh, long breaking procedures will be done by this the robotic systems and also sometimes you can see the different signal will be given and uh, this signaling procedures will be maintained by this the uh, robotic systems uh, robotic handling systems and uh, uh, you have to the measure and the uh, trans uh, transfer the those type of materials there is the uh, no humans will be in the SA, uh, effective then your robot also will be the effect on this that pay point and especially design the robots are increasing being and the used in the materials handling applications and the part, uh, particularly in loading and unloading of jobs uh, so that the form of machines or this uh, machining sets and the, sometimes you can see the few type of place and uh, only the required to this the one place is the uh, loading and the another place you have to the unloading will be required and uh, your uh, uh, one human being this will be uh, not effective during uh, only the this is the loading and another person you have to give into this the unloading this is a boring job and uh, but uh, this will be uh, concentrated to this the human beings the, this is the um, very much difficult and uh, for this the this is the not interested uh, for this the loading and uh, another person will be not interested for this the unloading and that uh, in this point your the robot will be very easily uh, uh, done this job loading and unloading procedures and uh, another uh, things also will be the the packaging procedures can be done by this the robotic handling systems and the uh, um, uh, uh, some painting procedures also will be done by this the robotic handling systems and the containers and the uh, uh, supports 
Containers and uh, the supports also will be the also the part of this the, um, the materials handling equipment. This classification generally includes the all type of the secondary device and aids which are utilized for sorting, uh, some storing, in, uh, unitizing and movement of materials, the different type of uh, pressure, tight loads uh, and also the closed and open top container platforms and coil, uh, coil sub, uh, supports and different uh, Securements uh, such as strapping, strapping and the chains, the chain rope, cable, and the with the uh, together the um, the bulkheads, uh, drainage uh, bulkhead, etc. Are the example of the secondary device and the aids. And the chain and rope over rope over conveyors also will be the very much more essential uh, for the industry. And the suppose your the uh, industry area is the so much long, then you have to give in to this the rope over conveyor system. And the, your the ropeway conveyor system only essential to this the um, two person. The one person will be required to this the one station will be loading. The another person will be sitting on this the unloading page, uh, unloading uh, here. And uh, then you have to very much easily transfer to this the ropeway conveyor system. And uh, during to this the ropeway conveyor system, there is the no extra road will be required to this the uh, land. And uh, it land is the very um, land is not occupied by this the. Uh, your the transforming system and uh, this is the uh, ropeway system the another advantage also will be the only the two or three or much more bucket also will be required to this the uh, transfer of materials there is the um, no uh, um, destroying of your materials to this the uh, according to this the safe mode you have to transfer the one place to this the another place and the uh, another to this the cable conveyor also will be the there and the cable conveyor is there like the ropeway cable um, cable also will be the con concentrated and uh, during to this the uh, rope conveyor and also the bucket conveyor will be uh, included to this the um, uh, to this the conveyor system as like is the uh, this will be transferred during to this the bucket uh, in, uh, inside of this bucket you have to uh, transfer your materials from this the one place to this the another place and uh, another thing is the auxiliary equipment is a large number of equipment and the adjustment which can not be classified under the above heads uh, but are frequently used the ind independently and uh, these independent things will be considered uh, to the chain conveyor and the uh, few chain also will be there and the, this chain is the very uh, easily transfer your the materials from this the on uh, place to this the another place that like or the uh, cycle chain also will be concentrated and uh, during to this the chain conveyor you have to uh, record to use the loading and unloading of this the materials and the uh, suppose the systems will be run by this the chain and also this uh, uh, motion will be transferred from this the one shaft to this the another shaft and uh, very easily you have to transfer to this your the uh, materials and uh, basically the um, basically the metal chain also will be used to this the um, uh, transfer this materials from this the one place to this the another place and uh, sometimes you can see to this the bar, uh, car conveyor also will be available and uh, during to this the different type of small car uh, small car also will be the movement uh, from this the um, uh, one place to this the another place inside of this uh, your industry and uh, you have to um, uh, creating a car, car, car conveyor unit and uh, during to this the car conveyor unit you have to place your materials to this the um, uh, one person will be required to loading on this the uh, car and uh, another person will be required to this the unloading on this materials to this the another end from this car and uh, during to this the car conveyor this will be very much easily and uh, less labor will be required uh, to this the transfer of materials from this the one place to this the another place and also uh, sometimes you can see the roller type conveyor and the roller type conveyor also will be transferred this materials from this the one place to this the another place very easily and only the there is the no um, the, the, the two type of roller conveyor also will be available and is the uh, power roller conveyor another is the non power roller, roller conveyor and the uh, uh, sub classification of materials handling equipment also will be the there the major sub classifications uh, and some of the common individual equipment under this sub classification also will be there the major in the following list the industrial vehicles and the trucks and the industrial vehicles also will be considered basically the non power and the power concept power and the some industrial vehicles you have to the not will be required to this the power and this will be only the manual uh, labor will be transferred to this the uh, this type of um, the vehicles basically in the, our two wheel hand trucks and the two wheel hand trucks will be seen the each and every uh, places that like the different uh, uh, railway stations um, the airport also will be we can see and uh, similarly the different the uh, production unit 
uh, production places also you can see the um, the non power uh, vehicles non power vehicles that like the um, in uh, industrial uh, two, two wheel hand trucks and uh, these two wheel hand trucks the also uh, transfer this materials on this the soft floor only and the during to this the soft floor this materials will be the very easily transfer from this the one place to the another place and uh, uh, this soft floor um, uh, under not will be the rough surface the this type of materials will be the transfer during to this the rough surface and the, for this the nor power vehicles will be considered during to this the forklift trucks and the dolly and the dolly type of uh, equipment also will be transferred during to this the materials from this the one place to the another place and that this dolly uh, dolly will be concentrated the only the manual power will be given uh, manual power given on this the dolly and uh, uh, there is the no power will be required um, the, by this the uh, basically the human effort will be uh, given to this the um, the dolly and the forklift trucks also will be uh, equal this forklift truck will be the hydraulic uh, systems also will be given and during to this the hydraulic pressure the this uh, uh, materials will be the um, uh, <coughs> lowering and the vertical movement also will be the up lowering and also the vertical movement will be found during to this the forklift trucks the where where below no, sorry, wheel, wheel uh, barrow also will be there and the fork and trucks also will be the available during to this the and the two wheel hand trucks narrow SL, uh, SL trucks also will be uh, required to this the uh, to the, this concentration the wheel hand trucks also will be given the wheel hand trucks will be we can see uh, in our uh, different uh, um, the different shopping mall you can see the wheel hand trucks and um, basically the this is the one wheel uh, uh, the, uh, basically the two wheel you have to give in and uh, you have uh, the, this is the one basket and uh, during to this basket and the, you have to easily transfer your materials from this the one place to this the another place and uh, there is the no mass more energy will be required and uh, during to this or uh, the airport um, the railway stations we can see the very much easily the um, uh, wheel hand, hand trucks and the, like the different type of uh, trolley uh, also will be used that uh, the uh, this uh, pallet box and the skids um, uh, also we can use the platforms uh, platforms and the platform tra trucks also will be the available the during to this the uh, different railway station the platform trucks and the um, special purpose of this um, special purpose of this the, um, the different type of uh, uh, lifting and the lowering uh, um, uh, equipment also will be the use the platform tracks lift um, uh, this will be the very uh, very essential and also the different uh, type of uh, um, uh, tracks we can use to this the uh, different places like the uh, or the uh, railway station and also the airport we can be easily the used and the hand lift tracks track the hand lift uh, jack tracks and the hand lift jack, jack tracks also will be the uh, available in order the materials handling equipment and uh, uh, this also will be used to these different type of industry and uh, these hand lift trucks will be the uh, very easily um, handled uh, very easily uh, transfer your materials to this the um, uh, there is the uh, less effort will be given uh, by this the worker or the driver and the uh, reese trucks the reese truck also will be the um, also will be the essential and the uh, pallet uh, pallet is used to this the uh, as a materials handling equipment and uh, this will be under the uh, sub classification of this the materials um, handling equipment and the uh, side loader trucks and the side loader trucks also will be used the skid stardale trucks or um, the rigor rigor also will be used to this the uh, different uh, materials handling uh, places and also the different uh, uh, industry like the production industry also will be used to this the outriggers and also the railway industry we have to use to this the out trigger type of uh, equipment and the uh, special types of this the equipment you can be used the studded carrier carrier also we can be used as a the materials handling equipment the lift the uh, lift tables uh, lift table uh, also will be concentrated to as a materials handling equipment and uh, sometimes we can see used to this the as a walkie art now walkie and the wonky and the basically you have to consider this will be the uh, different uh, um, uh, work station that like the um, uh, and or the uh, railway station and all the railway uh, tracks also we can be used to the uh, walk air systems and the semi live skids uh, semi live skids will be used uh, as a materials handling equipment and also the tractor and the tractor uh, tractor is the very good type of materials handling equipment and uh, in our uh, local places just like 
or the different area uh, area in or the village village place we have to use to this the um, tractor and the, this tractor the own uh, bucket also will be uh, hanging to this the uh, behind uh, uh, behind of this the tractor engines and the during to this the tractor engines uh, this will be the one basket will be mounting here and the during to uh, this basket the very much easily will be transfer this materials and the uh, two or three persons also will be um, concentrated this is the uh, cheap um, cheap equipment and the uh, least cost also will be there and the, uh, during this is the tractor um, uh, tractors uh, engines also will be used as a uh, materials transfer equipment and another thing is that and the, this tractor uh, is used uh, to this the uh, two way and the one is the digging this uh, uh, fertilizer land and uh, during to this uh, according to your the um, requirement you have to use as a the digging purpose and the another you have to use is the materials handling purpose and the, this is the basically two purpose will be solved and also the two or three persons so you have to buy this uh, uh, tractor and uh, then this uh, person very usually uh, survive in our uh, society and the trailer um, also will be used as is the materials handling equipment and the industrial car industrial car is the um, the very good uh, materials handling equipment and uh, this car is the uh, very much essential this car is the very much essential uh, for handling of this materials and uh, um, uh, during to this the industrial transfer of materials you have to always uh, require to this the industrial car and uh, this industrial car you have to transfer your materials properly there is the no effect will be created and uh, um, only uh, uh, you have to uh, require to this the uh, according to this the power systems will be considered to this the industrial uh, car and the industrial car we have to uh, use as a materials and good materials handling equipment and the mine and quarry car also will be used as a materials handling equipment and the furnace and oven car furnace and oven car as a uh, concentrated also will be the materials handling um, equipment and uh, this will be uh, use the different uh, uh, places that like the ore will be uh, uh, transferred during to this the furnace or oven car uh, also will be used uh, different type of the hot type of materials you have to transfer uh, during to this um, the furnace and the oven type of car and the trucks uh, trucks also will be considered according to this the different um, the different type of trucks will be um, uh, this is the uh, road type of road uses to this the trucks and also uh, your materials will be transferred from this the one uh, places to the another place and uh, this will be concentrated to the um, uh, trucks um, that uh, uh, trucks uh, out there is the um, uh, locomotives and another thing is the locomotive also will be the um, uh, concentrate to this the large quantity of materials this will be transferred from this the on uh, state to this the another state uh, like the one place to this the another place and uh, this is the concentrate to this the bulky type of materials will be transferred by this the uh, locomotive and the locomotive is the very much more essential um, uh, materials handling equipment and this will be the uh, all places also will be used to this the um, the materials handling through this the locomotive and uh, this is the least cost um, according to this the transfer of the another uh, type of materials the locomotive is the least cost of you have to transfer this materials on place to this the another place by using the locomotive and um, uh, we have to uh, concentrate this is the next class um, uh, a conveyor will be uh, discussed to this the next class. Thank you, my dear students.